I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm doing a home bargains haul. I have five bags of things to share with you today. So if you want to make sure you're comfy, relaxed and ready to enjoy this video. I would also love it if you are new to this channel, if you would stick around and subscribe and I will also leave my Instagram handles linked below. I have three. Well, I have two. My Fashion Freya Frankton one and Home Freya Frankton home. And then my little Barney bear has his own Instagram at Barney the Great Golden. In fact, I have a couple of bits for him to show you in this video. So yeah, make sure you're set and ready and let's begin. That was my cheers to you, by the way. I'm just gonna keep my Starbucks mug just there. So I can see in the viewfinder and remind myself to keep taking sips quite often when I film a video and I make myself a nice coffee, get comfy. I then get so involved in showing you what I've got that by the end of filming, the coffee's cold. Anyway, I've got my receipt here as well, so I'm going to try and share with you all the prices. Home bargains videos take so long to film because the individual price points of everything on the pretty lengthy receipt takes you a while to like locate the price. But anyway, I'm going to start with just something boring actually because you don't need to know the price of this. It's a couple of pounds. Oh no, I opened it. Oh well, never mind. It is just some kitchen roll, a pack of six. And then I also, again, just another boring one, got some bin bags. I actually do already have one of these and I have a smaller version as well, but I decided to pick up another one. They're these beautiful white heart-shaped bowls. Perfect for snacks. Oh, <laughs> snacks and nibbles. The larger ones like these are £1.99 and I think the smaller ones are £1.49. They do also have plates as well. I spotted these reusable silicone straws. This is a six piece set and they are, they are white but they've actually got a subtle marble like look to them. They're food safe silicone, dishwasher safe, they're perfect for hot and cold beverages and oh can be cut into different lengths to fit any cup. Interesting. But I just thought these would be quite nice to have as a reusable straw, uh, to have white ones. I do have glass ones, but they don't have a bend on them. So I quite liked that these ones did. And these were £1.49. So this is new for Home Bargains. I noticed their Jeff Banks range actually have a loungewear set in grey and black available. I didn't pick up the loungewear set, but I did also notice in their sort of sleepwear pyjama section that they now have, this beautiful grey kind of faux fur robe. I did get this in a large. I am a UK 10 for reference, and I think this will be a lovely addition to my cozy lounge rest. I feel like I'm in my PJs now. These, um, oh my God, it's so soft and cozy. It's literally like a blanket. I am obsessed. Yeah, and it comes on a beautiful white wooden hanger. I mean, this is not giving me home bargains vibes. So who knows? Maybe this is a sign to what's coming for home bargains in the future. So this is called a lounge jacket, $9.99 this is priced at, and I love it. I also picked up the faux fur sliders that they do. They did have these in a grey, but it was more of a dark grey. So I opted for the beige because this would always be my preference over grey anyway. And um, I just, you know, faux fur slider style slippers always good to have some brand new cozy slippers in my opinion super simple they've got the durable sole as well and these are from the winter woodland collection faux fur sliders they're called and i got these in a size seven to eight they did have three to four and five to six available as well and these were priced at four pounds 99 which I think is amazing. So cozy, I'm all about that cozy vibe still, very much so. This year, we're taking things slow with the uh, start to this year, so why not keep the lounge and the comfort vibes going for uh, as long as we can. I also picked up some of the non-slip velvet hangers that they do. These come in a pack of 10. They did have these in like a dark gray again, but I actually have all of our hangers that we own are the black velvet ones. So I thought I would follow suit with the black. I usually get mine from Home Sense, I was gonna say Home Bargains, Home Sense or TK Maxx for, they're usually about eight or nine pounds for a pack of 25. These ones are only 2.99, so let me work out the maths. Be six, 7.50. So these work out just cheaper. Oh no, what's smashed? 
Oh, it must be that. <gasps> is it? Yeah, it's that. Oh, damn it. So they have these glass domes with the candle holders for the Christmas section. Um, they were only $2.99, so I thought I would pick one up. And I, I would have this out all year round. I wouldn't say it's particularly festive. It's like a mercury stained um, glass candle with a glass dome. However, I've got it back home and realized that it has unfortunately smashed on the base in my bag. So sad. I had one of these last year at £1.49. These are a, um, it's basically a to-do list, things to do today. And then each day just has a checklist kind of set up, which I really like the fact that you can tick off once you've completed what you need to do. So I, this is my scribble one. I have my nice journal with the things to do and that need to get done. This is more of an everyday list making scratch off. Once you're done, done. You know, so you just don't mess up your nice journal. So £1.49, I just find this really handy. I completely filled up the last one that I had last year. So I'm so excited to have a brand new one. I think I'll, I'll save all the dog friendly bits for the end of the video. I also picked up this, which is one of the light up ceramic houses that they had at Christmas time. Our local home bargains did not have any over Christmas. But the fact that I managed to find one and pick one up, these are 9 99 These will be added nicely to my little Christmassy White House village. It'll make a nice addition next year. So I'm gonna put this downstairs for next Christmas. So this is really interesting. I don't know what home bargains are doing if they're switching up their style of retail, but I noticed a few sort of branded things in home bargains. This one I thought I would pick up and show you. So it's from Emma Bridgewater. It is a passport holder and it's got a signature sort of Emma Bridgewater design on the front with trips, adventures, and travel written on it in black and cream. And these retail for 12 pounds. And in Home Bargains, they're only 1.99. So I know for Christmas as well, I didn't actually pick it up because I've already got one, but they had a Yankee Candle candle snuff, you know, that you use to put out a candle in silver from Yankee Candle. Again, I think they retail for about 10 pounds. And again, they were selling them at just a pound or two, which is amazing. So yeah, I thought I would pick this one up just to show you and make you aware to keep your eyes peeled for that kind of stuff in home bargains now. I have somewhat of a stationary gift wrap, gift card drawer, and I thought I would pick up these three sets of 10 sheets of white tissue paper, plain and simple, just to add to my little stockpile that I like to keep. These are only 49p each, which is super affordable. I remember at Christmas getting some from Hobbycraft and they were about two pounds for 10 sheets. So these are well worth getting and stocking up on when you spot the plain white ones. And then I also just grabbed a parcel tape as well. I always check out the Yankee Candle wax melts and voters that they have, and they didn't really have any new year scents. There was still quite a lot of Christmassy leftover ones. So I spotted these, I like the sound of them, so I picked them up anyway. Bit out of season, but it is cinnamon spice cookie, which sounds delightful, and I have already smelt these. They are definitely sweet, but the fact that they've got the cinnamon coming through makes them quite spicy and kind of cuts through that sweetness. So I really like them. I can't wait to use them. And then I also found this, which is something that is so handy to have. If ever you've had one of the like pop socket things on the back of your phone or a grip, they're super handy. They basically look like a little disc that goes on the back of your phone and there's just a load of different uses that you can use for them. And these were only about $1.99. Oh, I've just seen my mug. My, my reminder to just have a little pause and just enjoy this moment. Delish. Okay, so a couple of kitchen essentials that I picked up. We needed a large like Pyrex glass style dish. And I noticed that they had Pyrex in Home Bargains. So I got a little one and a big one. And these were 2 dollars and 3 dollars They did have other sizes and shapes as well, but it was these 
shape that we were in need of. A couple of other bits to go in the kitchen. Stocked up some more of these. These are the Nescafe Golds. This is a new flavor, or well not a new flavor that I've tried because I have had these before, but I don't have any of these in my cupboard at the moment and it's the Double Choc Mocha. So if I'm feeling a kind of hot chocolatey coffee, this is a good go-to. These are £1.59 and you get in there eight sachets. I'm also so happy to have got my hands on these. I have seen so many people posting pictures on B&M stories, home bargain stories of this chocolate. It's the Mini Eggs chocolate bar. I think we're gonna love these. And they were 99p each. And then the last kitchen cupboard item to add to my kitchen is this. Now, Skinny Food Company do loads of different sauces and syrups and everything like that, which are zero calorie. I don't know how they make it like that, but they do. So you can use these sort of syrups in baking, in coffees, and I do actually have the gingerbread one, and I thought I would try this one. This is in Bonoffi pie, which just sounds amazing. A few beauty items that I picked up. Firstly, I stocked up on some scrunchies and clips, and these are so cute. I got these scrunchies. They're made with biodegradable tensile materials, two pack. So I went for this chocolatey brown color, and then also a kind of just neutral beige color, and they were only 99p each. And then again, I got some more hair clips. For some reason, these are the things that just tend to go astray all the time, or I find that the little teeth on these clips do break. I think maybe because I've got quite thick hair, I wear these on an everyday basis. Rarely do I have it down like this. It's just because I'm filming, honestly. Uh, but I quite often just kind of do a messy bun on the top of my head and clip it in. And I find that by doing that, you don't have the pull that a scrunchie would have or that 90s style. I mean, I haven't done this in years and I feel like my hair would actually be too long for it. But if you have shorter hair, I used to twist it like this and then put it up. Yeah, my hair's probably too thick now, but used to clip it in and then kind of put that hair over like so. Do you get what I'm saying? Who else used to do that? That's been a bit of a trend I've seen coming back, but my hair is just too long for that. It doesn't seem to work or hold, but anyway, love these. And I also picked up these more salon style ones as well. And these little ones, which are quite nice when I do have my hair down, sometimes to just basically take a little piece of hair and clip it at the back just so that I'm not touching it so it doesn't go greasy quickly and it just kind of holds like that out of my face again doing my makeup if I've already done my hair as well just to kind of clip it out of place without any kinks this is a pack of six and these are all like one to two pounds each I also got myself a little Carmex to just go in my bedside drawer I always like to put on a load of lip balm when I do my skincare in the evening do my moisturizer I always like to have a lip balm on before bed as well so I have one at the minute one of the EOS lip balms and I used to love them which actually home bargains have loads of EOS lip balms if you do like them but I found it, I find it really hard to like really thickly coat my lips with that one. That's more of like a daytime one. So this Carmex squeezy tube one, you can put quite a lot of product on with that. £1.79 that one was. A deodorant, me and Tom share. So I always like, I prefer the men's scents in deodorant. So I got the Nivea Cool Kick. And then I also stocked up on another dry shampoo. I always use dry, blah, 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 use dry shampoo for a bit of volume but also in between salon visits when my roots start coming through I find that it kind of adds a bit of ashiness to my hair which I know isn't great for brunettes but for blondes I feel like it works really well especially if you've got like cool toned blonde hair and I also like to use purple shampoo to remove any of the brassier yellow tones so that works really well and I love that so I've got a big one and then I also got this which I have actually used once and I like it so that's why it's kind of a bit gross on the top you can see but it's from Saint Moritz it's one of my all-time favorite tanning brands I just feel like they're so affordable good old classic staple for me going through uni I use this every single night out and I would put it on before going on a night out. So I'd literally go out in fake tan and then the morning after I remember showering, feeling a bit ropey, but then always having a really nice tan the day after. So Samaritz is an old school favorite of mine. And this is one that I've never seen before. It's the darker than dark. 
instant tanning mousse one hour plus tan so it is a mousse which is my favorite kind of formula for a tan and it's a little bit misleading where it says one hour fast tan because it does say on the back leave on for one hour for a light tan two hours for medium three hours for dark so it's still going to be that kind of tan that you just leave on to develop as long as possible but the fact that it's darker than dark honestly when you put it on it is so dark and i love it this was 2.99 i got myself a water bottle i did actually used to have one of these um i had a black one which tom stolen and i feel like it's quite handy to to both have one i love the fact that this one has times on it which really keeps you motivated to keep drinking throughout the day good to stay hydrated i find when i use these water bottles i drink more and in doing that a bit of a byproduct good skin i always find my skin is best when drinking loads of water and this was £2.49 okay a couple of bits before moving on to the things that I got for Barney I did pick up these garden gloves these are a pack of two sets in a large for me and Tom we're just going to do a bit of a tidy up in the garden and I didn't want to ruin my nice gardening gloves because there is quite a lot of things to do i also picked up some thermal socks these are men's but they're in size 6 to 11 so they'll be fine for me good for nice long walks in the cold weather love throwing these on with my wellies so these were two pound 49 for a pack of two and then a couple more items for wintry long walks i got this hat which is from the winter collection a plain gray beanie which i guess me and tom could both share it's just literally plain and simple great beanie. I've just realized this is actually kids. It's a boy's knitted hat, but it seems to fit my head and I have quite a big head. So anyway, this was $1.99. And then I also got these little hand warmers, which I think will come in super handy for nice walks in the countryside. And these last up to 10 hours of heat, easy warmth, warms quickly, ready to use. It even says on there, perfect for dog walking. And these were just 69p for a pack of two. Okay, moving on to Barney. These two are for big boy Barney. I actually have the small ones for him as a puppy. So I decided to get the large ones for when he needs them. And they're just plain and simple black and white dog bowls for food and water. They have them in the reverse as well with the black on the outside with white paw prints and then the inside is white and they are $1.99 each. I also got a couple of treats. This first one is Little Big Paw. So these are British roast chicken oven baked treats with sweet potato, apples, blueberries and mixed berries. 100% natural, natural joint supplements, hypoallergenic, healthy teeth and gums, nourishing oils and I thought these would be quite good to use for little training bites, training treats for training. So I picked this one up and this was £1.50. I also spotted this, so obviously I had to pick this one up. It has a retriever on the front and it's called Barney Bakes. I mean, this is like a sachet of powder. It's for creating biscuits. All you need to do is add an egg and water. It's home baking biscuit mix for dogs. Makes approximately 25 dog treats. And there's even a free bone shaped cutter included. Oh yeah, there it is, I can feel it. I'll probably do that over on his Instagram or TikTok or something. And this was only 99p, bargain. And last but not least, at £1.49 each, I picked him up two new toys. I feel like it's quite good, especially at this age or like into teething, whereby you can um, give them sort of different textures and new toys to be able to keep them interested. I kind of keep them hidden until I need them. So anyway, I have this one, which is a little bear, Barney bear. It's going to love that. And then also this is a plush farmyard animal. This one's the sheep and it's a crinkly. Oh, and there's a squeaker in there. I didn't realize that. How cute is this little sheep? But that is everything that I picked up. So thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.